I need someone to explain this to me like I'm a five-year-old because I'm real confused. Have you guys heard of this little thing called AI? Because I keep hearing that AI is going to take all our jobs and that's a big problem. Because we also have a second problem, which is the complete disaster that is our industrial factory food system. Because scientists agree it's the number one driver of a lot of our problems. Deforestation, mass extinctions, ocean dead zones, climate change, chronic health problems, depletion of our aquifers, depletion of our soil resource. It's killing our small towns and rural areas and leaving food deserts in our cities. It's completely unsustainable. But we know how to solve all these problems using permaculture and regenerative agriculture. We know we can grow healthy, toxin-free food while we regenerate our ecosystems, our soil, our water, and even the climate by sequestering carbon in the soil. But the experts say there's one huge problem with this solution, which is that we can't do it by just having one guy in a giant fossil-fueled tractor driving around thousands of acres. We can't do it, they say, because it requires more hands, smaller farms, and a more localized food system. We'd actually have to revive our small towns and rural areas. And encourage people in cities and suburbs to make businesses growing food, too. So you see where I'm going with this? The thing I just don't understand is, why don't these two problems solve each other? If AI is taking all the jobs, why not put people to work growing healthy foods, restoring our ecosystems, fighting climate change? We can fix all these problems with one stroke, and it doesn't even require an act of heavy-handed government. We know that the dehumanizing, unsustainable, unhealthy system we have now was not created by the free market. It was created by utopian daydreamers in the federal government, industrialists who thought that they were creating a paradise. If only they could kick farmers off their land to modernize the food system and put people to work in factories as low-paid labor. So we created a system of laws and tax and insurance policies that would do exactly that, force farmers to go big or grow broke, as the saying used to be, and consolidate land. All we have to do to make this happen is remove those policies and laws that we put in place. Uh, policies like the ones that practically mandate that our food be loaded with poisons and plastics. These exist specifically to allow large, unhealthy, unsustainable farms to compete with small, sustainable farms. Now, what are some of these laws I'm talking about? The first laws of these kinds were laws that threw tax dollars at insurance and finance schemes. The utopian industrialists were associated with Herbert Hoover knew they wanted to scale up farms with big machines. The problem was the market didn't support that. The land opportunities and big machines already existed and the market wasn't making that happen. So they created a system of government-backed loans and this allowed the right people to own that land. Putting the wrong people, poor farmers, out of business and kicking them off their land. It created a huge giveaway of land to people who were already wealthy, and that continues today. Today, the vast majority of our farm subsidies for those loan and insurance programs go to people who are already extremely wealthy and who might not even farm at all. We literally give farm subsidies to rich people to maintain private golf courses. We, the people, pay tax dollars to rich people to till the land, spray poisons, plant seeds, driving up seed costs, knowing they will never even harvest that crop, and then we pay them for that crop they didn't even harvest. These days, those same tax giveaways support the plastic industry and this proliferation of plastics in our food system that is contaminating our food with microplastics and phthalates. Small and organic farmers who care about the land have had to adopt those same technologies, knowing that they're bad for the land, contaminate the soil, and contaminate our food and our bodies. Because of these laws, they can't compete if they don't. And there was a lot made of the GAP laws, good agricultural practice laws, that were passed in various food safety and modernization acts as being things that specifically, uh, they were created with agribusiness in the rooms. They were written, these are laws written by agribusinesses to require their 
chemical and plastic products. And there was a lot of talk that people knew these laws would harm small farmers, and they have, driving up land consolidation even more. A lot of these good agricultural practices encourage farmers to make food that is less healthy, less safe, destroys land, and is uh, inhumane to animals. But they're great for corporate profits and land consolidation. This seems like something that people on the left and the right should all agree on. Here we have a chance to solve a bunch of social and environmental and health problems, not by throwing tax dollars at it, but by actually doing the opposite. Just stop throwing tax dollars to fuel all these problems and they'll go away. Now, some people say that these policies help farmers, and if you take them away, then you're hurting farmers. But that's malarkey. We'd actually be helping farmers. As a guy who grew up around farmers, I can tell you that farmers care about the land, they care about the ecosystem, they care about conserving our natural resources, but they feel forced into this race to the bottom by the laws that are put in place. The only people I'd heard are Bill Gates and China, people who are investing heavily in our agricultural land because our laws have made it a good investment specifically for the purpose of driving people off the land. Now, I know some people are going to have a knee-jerk reaction that we simply need scale. We need big corporate farms. But the whole argument for large farms was labor efficiency, that we could get one person to manage thousands of acres, which allows for diversification of labor in a more complex, robust economy. And I agree with that. I have to admit, it did give us the most advanced industrial economy in the world. I'm making a video on this device here today because of those kinds of policies and the fact that we exported them around the world in the Green Revolution. But now that we're talking about AI taking all the jobs and we have robotics and we have a globalized labor system where people in the United States are competing with people in Africa and Southeast Asia for jobs... Descaling farms and relocalizing the economy just seems like a no-brainer. And guys, this isn't just focused in on income. This is real wealth building. This would be a way to encourage real Americans to start actual businesses, meaningful businesses, doing meaningful work that cares for the earth, cares for ecosystems, preserves our biodiversity, makes healthy food for people in our own communities. This is not just a job, it's a great livelihood that builds wealth generationally, encouraging Americans to actually own our own land and our own homes instead of foreign investors owning it. And it just solves a huge number of problems that otherwise we'd just have to throw more tax dollars at. You guys tell me, am I wrong about this?